Hello, my name is Mrs. Bragg, and I'm the proud sixth grade assistant principal at Baldy Middle School. It is my pleasure to welcome each of you, our incoming sixth grade students, to Baldy. Over the next few minutes, I'll be going over some brief information regarding what it means to be a student at Baldy, and moreover, what it means to be a sixth grader at Baldy. The first person you need to know at Baldy Middle School is our principal, Mr. Hostetter. Next to his photo, you'll see our school motto, I am Baldy. Baldy is actually an acronym that represents, I build relationships, I'm accepting of others, I love learning, I'm determined to persevere, and I impact my community positively. It is our hope that as we go through the halls every day at Baldy Middle School, that we uphold these ideals and do the very best we can. The next person you need to know is me, Mrs. Bragg, the sixth grade assistant principal at Baldy Middle School. It is my job to make sure that you work well with your teachers, parents, and other community members to make sure that your sixth grade year is unforgettable and that you learn, you thrive, and that you're happy. Next to my photo is the Baldy Bulldog for sixth graders, which represents our uh, grade color, red, and our motto, choose, grow, succeed. The next person you need to know is Mrs. Cummings. She is our sixth grade counselor. Next to Mrs. Cummings photo, you'll see our Baldy values, which are respect, responsibility, joy, kindness, perseverance, and teamwork. Mrs. Cummings is going to be instrumental in your sixth grade school year. She will be able to help you with organization, speaking with your teachers, navigating relationships with friends, being organized, and pretty much anything you can think of to be successful as a sixth grader at Baldy. What does it mean to be a Baldy student? Well, we encourage our students to demonstrate a growth mindset. We're not expecting you to be perfect, but we are expecting you to come to school, work hard, and do your very best. Students at Balsy also demonstrate teamwork and collaboration, not just with their peers, but with their teachers as well. It is so important that we take the opportunity to work well with others and to learn from each other to continue to grow as best we can. We also expect students to demonstrate high expectations for themselves regarding their academics and behavior making goals regarding getting good grades and showing growth, as well as having healthy relationships is another important facet of being a Baldy student. In the sixth grade at Baldy, our color is red and our motto is choose, grow, succeed. All of the sixth grade classrooms are located on the lower level. There are 16 sections of sixth grade students at Baldy. Our class sizes range from about 27 to 33 students in each section. All of our sixth grade students travel as a class, meaning if you are leaving your advisory and going to another class or going from class to lunch, you are moving together as a group. One of the most popular questions I get about it from incoming sixth graders is about lockers. Yes, you will have them. Uh, they won't be assigned though until the second or third week of school. And the way that you can go about getting a locker is bringing in a combination lock, showing your advisor that you know how to open that lock correctly, and then you will be assigned a locker. That locker will be yours for the duration of your time as a sixth grader at Baldy. Of the 16 sections at Baldy Middle School, 12 of those sections will have a different teacher for every subject. This means that you will have a different teacher for math, for reading, for science, and for social studies. Four of those 16 sections will have one teacher for math and science and one teacher for reading and social studies. In addition to your core content classes, we also offer elective courses. For sixth graders, our elective classes change every quarter. You will have physical education slash health for the entire school year, but you will also get to experience different electives every quarter for the year. Some of those classes include graphic arts, digital literacy, music, and so many more. Clubs. We are fortunate enough at Baldy Middle School to have so many teachers and community members provide extracurricular activities for our beloved students. Some of them are listed here. We have instrumental music, robotics, drama, student council, and so many more. Field trips and events. As a student at Baldy, you will really get the opportunity to get out of school and do some real world learning throughout the school year. We, uh, as sixth grade students, you'll have the opportunity to go to Rolling Thunder Skating Rink, the Penn Museum, 
uh, the Philadelphia Zoo, Franklin Institute, and so many other places. So we look forward to taking you out of the building on these journeys as the year progresses. Sports. I know many of you are interested in sports and I look forward to seeing each of you on a team as the school year goes on. Some of the sports that we offer are listed here. They include field hockey, soccer, baseball and softball, basketball, lacrosse, and so many more. In order to participate in a sport, you would listen out for an interest meeting provided by one of the school coaches. And during those meetings, he or she will be able to provide you with the specific requirements necessary to be a member and or try out for that team. The bell schedule. We start our admission with sixth grade students at around 810 every morning. And the first period starts at 820. Our school day ends at 315 the day schedule. One thing that's unique at Baldy Middle School and something that requires a little bit of adjustment is the fact that we operate on a six day schedule. This means that on days one, three, and five, you'll have the same classes. And on days two, four, and six, you'll have different classes. So if you take a look at the screen here, I've highlighted March 4th. So March 4th might be a Monday on the calendar but it is a day six on our school schedule. This means you would have to look at your roster and figure out what classes do I have on days two, four, and six. For example, you might have science on days one, three, five, and you might have social studies on day two, three, six, two, four, and six. I know that it sounds complicated, but believe me, you have advisors and teachers and community members that are more than willing to help you navigate the schedule during your time at Baldy. Lastly, summer reading. I know some of you are thinking about what the school year will look like, and all incoming sixth graders are expected to read a novel. The titles and the requirements for the novels will be released at a later date, but I just want you to start thinking about the expectation of reading a text and then being evaluated on it once you come back to school during the new school year. This concludes my presentation, and I hope that you were able to get some valuable information from it. We will be having our virtual feeder school visits later in the month of May, and during that time, we'll be able to get a little bit more specific with questions that you might have regarding the upcoming school year. I look forward to speaking with you soon, and until then, be well.